I never know how to fucking start videos. I, I don't know, like I just wanna be like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know, it always sounds like super corny and fake to me. So I'm just not going to do it. So today I am, hello baby. Look at the tail, look at the little butt. So anyway, today, I am going to be doing the, how I used to do my makeup tag. Um, I put a poll up on Instagram. Basically, I was like, if you guys wanna see a review of Shop Miss A products or how I used to do makeup, you guys voted for how I used to do my makeup. So, bitch, that's what we're doing today. Isn't it nice to be? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's, let's backtrack a little bit. So, I used to exclusively many moons ago, years ago, um, only wear makeup for performance and performance art and stuff like that. That's pretty much the only time I wear makeup. So everything I did was like heavy stage makeup. Also, always drunk. Every time, exclusively, hideously intoxicated. Oh, I know. I know you were in my Oh, I know. So that's why I have a beer here. This is like, this is a, uh, it's like a craft stout from here in Richmond. Apparently Richmond's like a beer capital. People travel all over the world, apparently, to have Richmond beer. Who knew? I didn't. I certainly fucking didn't. I live here. No one told me. <laughs> Ugh. Let me scoot forward here to the edge of my velvet couch. And um, let's just like get onto it <laughs> as I drink. So first things first, glue, like every artist, every every drag artist in the world before me, glue was a huge part of what I did, but I actually, <sighs> my hair, wow. Beauty guru status, unlike, <laughs> achieved. Um, what I would do, I would put glue throughout my hairline like this. Um, and that way when you put duct tape on your hairline, well, first off, it keeps your hair from getting into your makeup, which was the big thing that it was for. But then like, if you put duct tape in your ha uh, hairline, like a lot of drag artists do to keep our wigs um, attached to our head. If you put glue on your hairline before you put down duct tape, it'll make taking the duct tape off like really easy. Now, primer, no. We don't do primer here. Hold on, I have to take off my shirt for this. Um, that's a relatively like new like thing that people push is primer. Because prior to that, I feel like everyone just did like lotion or something like that. But I nothing, no lotion, no primer. So I always used Krylon for everything exclusively. I really like Krylon. I still use Krylon. Um, just not the way that I used to use Krylon. Um but I use the colors 1W and 2W, and I would just kind of take this and like, like heavily paint this bitch on, just like as much as possible. Like even ran it through my eyebrows. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, like running it through my eyebrows. Like, like at this point like that I'm doing now, this is like, right when I quit being a drag queen and I started doing like male entertainment drag stuff. And so I didn't like shave any of my facial hair off. I draw on some facial hair sometime, but like at this point I would just like leave my facial hair on, but then like put foundation over it for some reason. So I'm gonna take a, uh, one of my crappy SFX beauty blenders because Krylon ruins everything. Also, I used a dry beauty blender for some reason. The goal was to look as like heavily painted and cakey as possible. And like, I fully painted Krylon, like painted this shit on down the whole, like down my whole neck, like full coverage down the neck. And with this like thick ass non-skin colored paint, I never put it on my ears. Like if you're going to like put on a color of foundation that is not the same as your skin color, you like swear to God need to put it on your ears. I mean, it's not like the worst color match in the world, but you can tell that that's not my, my skin right there. In person, it's way worse. Like on camera, that doesn't actually look half bad. But in person, this is so like, 
This is like a jarring hard line. But anyway, so what I would do now is for the next like 15 minutes, I would kind of just let this like sit on the skin and just let like the oils of my skin mix with the foundation. So we're just gonna take some time off camera to do that. And I would take this time to pour myself another drink. I don't know why, I drank so heavily during makeup because as anyone has noticed on this channel, like if you have been subscribed to me for more than a day and you've watched my videos, you know that uh, the more intoxicated I get, the worse my makeup becomes. This was no exception. So we are back. We are, we have let this set into the skin. It looks no different. It's just creasy now. <laughs> Uh, I finished my glass of stout and I moved on to Pinot Grigio. <laughs> so next thing I would do is not at all reblend my makeup because it's not like I've been sitting here like having expressions and stuff in the 15 minutes that I've been sitting here. And I would take uh, some air spun and I would just set the fuck out of this. And I would just like keep adding powder. Like literally use like a third of a container of this stuff. Yeah, I remember this. This, like, foundation all over my facial hair like this. Why did I think that looked good? What is wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, I'd let this sit for, like, 10 minutes. So, we'll see you guys then. We are back, and so now I would take a, just a fluffy brush and just... As you can see, there's not much coming off because it's so set into the foundation. Like, even though I just applied a third of a can of airspun to my face, it's so set into the makeup because you, when you let it sit there that long, it really just pounds that coverage in. I think I was trying to like have an eyebrow block without actually like doing it. Like I look like I almost have no eyebrows right now. It's like really, it's just not right. I'm gonna take more setting powder now that I've run out of airspun. And I would put more like this right underneath of the eye. <sighs> <sighs> Next, we are going to contour. Now, this was like a really interesting and kind of odd process for me. I would take like a dome brush, like a, like a powder brush, and I would squeeze it like that to make it more like a fan brush. And contour, I'm gonna use this, essentially what I was trying to make out of a brush. Girl. Now, when I say this was a mess, Y'all don't come for me. I don't even need a hat anymore because my like hair is so set in place. Take the darkest possible shade you can find. You're starting with dark because while you have like four hours to get ready, you're starting with dark. And you're going to create from like here, like, ugh, like up by the brow. And you're just going to cut down to the mouth and then a straight line down. Oh yeah. Uh, oof. Yeah, I remember this. Fix it, Jesus! Then I would take a slightly less dark shade. Um, and I've been using Fit Me for a very long time, so this is accurate as fuck. And I would just start doing this. And to me, I was like, this is blending. Yes! She's so fierce. Sickening. The house. Yes! I look crazy. I would try and like connect it this way using like the remnants of the powder on the on this brush but it really didn't work. It just made me look kind of nuts. I'd contour the forehead using this same lighter shade and I would like going from like the arch of the brow here I would make a hard ass line. And think of this, but so much like time and effort on this, like trying to make this look good. I really wanted this to look good. And I was trying to use like drag queen makeup techniques and stuff. And it just, girl, when I say it wasn't, it wasn't. Wow, I look nuts right now. Okay. I would literally in large sweeping circular motions over the whole face, just like go for it like and in my head because it was lighter it was now blended i was like this is it fam lit 
she was not lit. <laughs> if I lost any powder from my like highlighting areas ever at any point, I'd go back and just really about powder for some reason. And for some reason I thought like if I like powdered in a dome shape that it would help this like blend work out. The logic is bad. So that's it for contouring. We are fully contoured and blended at this point, living our fantasy, living our best lives, having a good time. So like blush, no. I didn't wear blush. I thought blush was like too feminine for the illusion I was doing, but then like that was just like bullshit I was making up because I didn't like to use blush as a drag queen either. <laughs> so next thing we do is move on to our eyebrows. You're like, what about the nose? We'll come back to that, sweetheart. Don't forget to keep drinking so that you get confused and mess everything up. Now this part is important. We are going in to our brows, which are the most important part of the face and will be done exclusively in black eyeshadow. <laughs> this is Star Blend by Maron. Um, I, I do like this. This is a good product and I stand by this product. This is a very good product. Now at this point, I would use like paint brushes to do my brows. However, I don't have them anymore. So I'll be using this like really fine pointed eyeliner. Bruce. Keep drinking. Healthy habits only. I would wet the brush in water, just like I have like a, like a dish of water that was always beside me, because I, I don't know. I always wanted to wet brush on every color, every pigment to make them more <sighs> You can clearly see my eyebrow here. Like it's there. My eyebrow is there. I would start, like, I would do this thing where I would, like, go right up here, and I would start, like, this, and I would kind of, like, mark the fronts of my brows like this, and then I would just kind of, no, I did this thing where I like to have, like, a really sharp, a really sharp arch for some reason, like, and it was such a joke in our friend group that like, I, I used to say that I have uh, let me speak to your manager eyebrows. I still kind of have that. Like I really like a high arch, that's not new. Now I definitely did like the Instagram brow of like a hard front line like that, like Sharpie front facing nonsense. And I would just be like, yup. And then now that I've got like this brow shape on, I, was like, it's not masculine enough. So they needed to be like a little bit thicker, but only at like the front half <laughs> and just make the front of it just so fat for no reason. And now that I've done all of this like dumb shit to this brow that like should have been done in equal parts on each side, I'm now going to try and replicate it on the other side. Yup, that was it. <laughs> I would like be like, oh, they're not even. Let me go back and even them out, make it worse. I remember, like, this is just, this is so much. These aren't even close to the same, but this is just what I would do. Like, I'd just be like, it's fine. Eyebrows for me didn't become an obsession until like 2017, like 2016, 2017. Next is nose contour, which like we're going back to contouring. I'm not saying I do stuff like this now. Like I don't like go back and recontour sometimes because I just changed my mind. But like that was not the thing here. This was just like the process. So I would take like crap tons of the, of the lighter shade that I used and I would go right like here and I would really like press this on. And I mean like heavy too. Like this was not, this was no natural nose contour. Blending, who is she? I was sculpting a brand new face that made no sense. <laughs> I thought this was like the way to go. I look like Squidward. <laughs> I would then take like tapping off the brushes. I didn't do that. Um, let me, for historical accuracy, I will not tap off the brush, but I would then take it and like run it over the front of the brow like this, trying to, I don't, I don't know, like I guess soften the brow, which are super not symmetrical on my face. And I don't, I don't know what this was supposed to look like, but I was doing it. And I was living my fantasy. No blush, too feminine. 
Um, next thing is eyeliner. This was the most bizarre part of the makeup. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, you're like, this looks bizarre enough. <laughs> I swear to god, this is real like you can really like there's still pictures up on the internet like you guys can go find them This is real. This is really how I did this. So I would tight line my eyes so Excuse me while I do my waterline real quick So now that I've like tight line lined my waterline I would then go in with wet brushing on the Maron star blend again, which again, this is a good product. It's getting a shady lighting in this in this <laughs> scenario but like realistically it's a very good black and i think that was why i was so heavily reliant on it and this was like right when like skin wars started happening and they were like you want the blacks of your black to be just as black as possible the whites to be as white as possible and that way all your colors pop and i thought that that meant this it didn't matter if there was like transfer like this color bleeding up into my eyeliner like i was like that's just nature taking its course or something. So I have to give myself a lovely cat eye with no wing. Oh my god, this is how my eyes used to look. It looks so crazy. Like, this looks so crazy. Like, again, these pictures are still up online. You can go find them. If you go back, like, years into, like, profiles of mine, you can find this. Shit, this is nuts. I'm out of wine. I need more. BRB. So I'm switching to rosé. <laughs> Having a good time. Do you guys like my, my wine stopper? It's an owl! Ah! Bitch, she thought she was sickening. Next thing, eyeshadow? Who she? Don't know her. The jokes only get worse from here, girls. And at this point you're thinking, what could possibly be next in this monstrosity? That was the thing. There wasn't an X. This was it. This was it. This was like the look. I was like, that's gonna make me look too feminine if I put on mascara. Which, dumb as shit, because that's dumb as shit. Lip color? Nope. I was like, it looks more masculine if I do this. Let me put on a wig real quick. Give you the full fantasy. Honestly, like these, these mohawk topper pieces are what I would realistically wear like all the time. But I'm not putting this on right now because this is a lot of work to put on. I didn't often wear like capped wigs like this because again, I thought they were too feminine that they were going to make me look like feminine in some way. Yeah, no, this is kind of how it looked. This is how it looked, girl. And like, really, I go out here and I'd be like, yes, I'm living my fantasy, living my like fresh, fierce, and definitely not feminine fantasy. <laughs> what was I thinking? I wasn't. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more silly makeup nonsense, this is definitely the channel for you. Drug makeup nonsense, definitely the channel for you weird drag shit that happens to come up out of nowhere. The channel for you. Subscribe, boo!